Edison. Greetings! I am King Alan Momo, and I welcome you to Challenge Island. Great Computer Challenge Island! where we are joining for the 37th annual Great Computer Challenge Awards Ceremony. Today, our island was host to many participants who came to take on the challenges that we set before you. These challenges challenged your skill your knowledge, and your teamwork. We are happy to say that all of you proved yourselves worthy competitors. We hope that all of you had a great time today and enjoyed your time with us. We do encourage you to complete your surveys and evaluations if you haven't. And please return those to us on the island at gcc at whro.org. These evaluations are very important to help us improve our competition for next year. This year was our second year of having the GCC virtually. Our island hosts were sent on a journey to go and locate highlights from years past. And I must say, they were most successful. We would like to share with you now highlights from the 2020 Great Computer Challenge. Those of you with keen eyesight may see yourself in a video. So watch closely My name's Bill Johnson. I'm glad to be here for the 35th Annual Great Computer Challenge. Glad to see so many of you here also. This year we have 97 teams from all over the region here today. Let's give all those teams, give all of you a hand. We want you to have fun, work as a team, have a great day. Right now, it's head on to your rooms and we'll get started. Have a great time and let the games begin. Thank you very much. Where are you guys from? Smithfield. Elizabeth City. Peasley Middle School out of Gloucester. Oscar Smith High School. We're from St. Matthews. Governor's School for Science and Technology. And what did you compete in? We competed in desktop presentations. Integrated applications. Video editing. Scientific non-business programming. Graphic design. I competed in music composition. What was your favorite thing that you did today? I think my favorite thing would be actually working with these two because I think this is my funnest year that I've ever had. Oh, good. What was the hardest part of competing? Managing the tasks that we needed to get done and splitting up the workload. The most exciting part I'd say would be competing against a bunch of other people because you never know who will actually come on top. What are you is thrilled to have all of you here on our campus to do this and to be able to connect with our community in a way that helps to foster education and technology to be able to solve problems. This is the reason why we're here. And this partnership with WHRO has been fantastic all through the years. A few years back we had lost some funding and we were afraid that this might not be able to continue and then Scott Wheeler and Bay Diesel stepped up so I want to thank Scott and introduce the founder of Bay Diesel, Scott Wheeler. I appreciate the students, the teachers, ODU, the schools, and all the things that this competition adds to our community. Thank you everybody for being here today. Thank you for allowing Bay Diesel to associate our name with such a great event. And keep going, and I'll look forward to seeing you next year.
here with the winners of the 35th Annual Great Computer Challenge. These are all of our first place winners. Did you guys have a good time today? Yeah! What a great job our team of Islanders did in finding those highlights. I hope you saw yourself in a video or maybe someone you knew. But now, it is my extreme pleasure to be able to welcome to the island the legendary Birch Smith, President and CEO of WHRO Public Media. Well, thank you, King Allen. I hope all of you had a great time today. I want to get us back together. Hopefully next year that's going to happen. So thank you for putting up with one more Zoom. Hopefully there's not much more Zoom in your life. Um, but I want to thank ODU and Candace, who you may not know, but she's the one behind the scenes making all the technology work. I want to thank the CII, ODU, uh, all the volunteers here, the staff here. Thanks to all the all of you for what you've done. The staff and volunteers have been here since very early this morning. Uh, thanks to all of you. And thanks especially to Bay Power. Normally when we'd be doing this in person, Scott Wheeler and I would take a selfie. So I will tell you, we can see all of you on the screen through Zoom. So I'm gonna ask uh, King Allen to come over and he and I are gonna do a, a selfie. So if you guys can make a lot of funny faces on this on at home, we'll see that and we'll do our selfie together. And We'll put it online. Ready, guys? Okay. I'm old. <laughs> all right. All right. Congratulations, everybody. Hope you all won. Congratulations. Thank you, Bert, for those wise words. You know, events such as the GCC or the Great Computer Challenge are the result of much work by organizations and individuals. The Great Computer Challenge has been very fortunate to have a longtime sponsor. And now, Bay Diesel has been with us for many, many moons. And Bay Power Solutions has been a longtime supporter of the Great Computer Challenge as well as WHRO Public Media. So now I would like to introduce to you Mr. Rob Robbins, president of Bay Power Solutions. Bay Power Solutions is proud to be part of the Great Computer Challenge as the event rolls into its 37th year and our ninth year of supporting it. Thank you to WHRO, Old Dominion University, all the teachers and volunteers who helped make this awesome event happen, and all the competitors. Good luck and have fun. those words. Education is central to WHRO. After all, we were founded by two school systems. And now I have the pleasure to introduce Mr. Elmer Seward, who is Vice President of Educational Services here at WHRO. Thank you, King Allen. I am um, I'm honored and I'm also a little frightened by your introduction. <laughs> I want to take just a moment to thank those individuals who have spent so many hours putting this together. 
When you show up on a Saturday and you spend a few hours here, it looks like, okay, it's about a half day's worth of work. But literally hundreds of hours and many, many people have been involved in making this happen. I also want to thank Bay Power Solutions, which formerly Bay Diesel, for the many years that they have supported this program. Without their support and without their sponsorship, we couldn't do all the things that we do. The medals that we give out, the trophies that we have, we need their support and we are grateful for that. We also would like to thank, on behalf of WHO Public Media and the Consortium for Interactive Instruction, we'd like to thank all of those who have helped us at Old Dominion University. This is a partnership that has been around for years and their work is absolutely essential. I especially want to thank Candace Gooden, Kate Rhodes, and Doug Street, who have spent months and many, many hours working on this project to make today happen. I also want to thank members of the education team and other volunteers who have been here since early this morning, working all of the Zoom sessions and making all the other magic happen, the balloons, the trophies, the cameras, the video, the audio, all of that. Members of WHO staff and other volunteers, and I want to thank all of them for being a part of that. They made this happen today, and it's volunteers like that who will make it happen next year as well and years to come. Now I would like to introduce the architect of the virtual VCC, the woman who has probably put in literally hundreds of hours before this day ever arrived, making sure everyone had accounts, everyone had Zoom sessions, everyone had folders to put their, uh, to put their solutions into, and working with other ODU staff to make this happen. I'd like to introduce Candace Gooden, who's the Executive, Di Executive Director of Client Services at ODU. Candace. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you so, so much. Um, it has been a lot of work to get us to this point, and we are very, very excited for 2022 GCC. And I know you guys are excited to hear all the winners, so I'll be very, very quick. Um, we're thrilled to continue this partnership that we've had going now for many years. We did not let anything like a pandemic stop us. You know, we kept it going virtually. It's been challenging, but thank you guys so much. All of the teams that participated this year, we had 79 teams, which is a huge, huge number. So thank you guys for coming out and for, you know, showing as much enthusiasm as you do any other year. Um, just really quickly, ODU is always thrilled to, to partner with WHRO and CII um, to pull this event off. We want to make sure that we you know, give a few special extra words to um, a few people. To WHRO, you guys are a great partner in this event. Thank you so much. It's always fun. It's always a great time. I had cake. I'm happy. Um, but thank you guys so much. So thank you, Angela Franklin, Wendy Hazel, Elmer Seward, and the entire WHRO team. Um, Thank you to the ODU folks. They're not here in the room, but hopefully a few of them are at least on the um, on the on the Zoom. Specifically, our provost and our um, our president, who helps keep this thing going for us. We do um, we do appreciate the support that we get from ODU. Um, to my boss and my boss's boss, my boss is the CIO, Rusty Waterfield, for, um, from our ITS department, and our VP is VP Chad Reed. Um, they make sure that we can actually keep this going. They give us their full support as well, so we can utilize the resources at ODU to make this happen. Um, to our judges, all of the ODU judges that participate, and all of our judges, even the non-ODU ones, thank you so much. This literally would not be possible without you guys creating the challenges and, and making sure that the competitors have something to, to compete against. Um, to my, oh, the rest of my ODU team, um, who are, they're not physically here with me, but they're hopefully a couple of them are at least online. Um, specifically to Kate Rhodes and, and Doug Strait, thank you guys very much. And thanks to you guys, the students, the parents, the teachers, the coaches, everyone who um, comes together every year to make this happen. Let's get the results for this year's 2022 GCC. Thank you, Candace. Thank you, Elmer, for wonderful words. And now, though, the time is at hand to discover who was successful today and who were, took on our challenges and 
won the wonderful prizes, the medals, the plaques, and these amazing trophies that line the wall behind me. So our first category is CAD Level 4. Our honorable mention is Oscar Smith High School A and the Governor's School A. Third place is Oscar Smith High School B. Second place is Oscar Smith High School C. And our first place winner for CAD Level 4, the Advanced Technology Center. Our next category, Cyber Security Level 4. Honorable mentions go to the Governor's School. Third place, the Advanced Technology Center, Team D. Second place, Advanced Technology Center A, Team A. And our first place winner for Cybersecurity Level 4 is the Advanced Technology Center, Team C. Our next category, Desktop Presentations, Level 2. Honorable mention goes to Bethel Elementary School. Third place, Crossroads K-8 Schools. Second place, Matthew Whaley Elementary School. And first place, Desktop Publish Presentations Level 2 is Stonehouse Elementary. Next up is Desktop Presentations Level 4. Honorable mention, Windsor High School. Third place, Norfolk Technical Center. Second place, Advanced Technology Center. And first place for Desktop Presentations Level 4, the Governor's School. Our next category is Desktop Publishing, Level 2. Our honorable mention is Stonehouse Elementary School. Third place is Bethel Elementary School. Second place, Abington Elementary School. And Desktop Publishing Level 2, first place, Pocosin Elementary School. Our next category is Graphic Design Level 2. Honorable mention goes to Matthew, Matthew Whaley Elementary School. Third place, Bethel Elementary School. Second place, Stonehouse Elementary School. And Graphic Design Level 2, first place is Picosin Elementary School. Our next category, Graphic Design Level 4. Honorable mention, Norfolk Technical Center. Third place, Advanced Technology Center. Second place, Governor's School. And Graphic Design Level 4, first place, goes to Woodside High School. <laughs> Internet Scavenger Hunt, Level 2. Our honorable mention, Petsworth Elementary School. 
third place, Bethel Elementary School. Second place, Stonehouse Elementary School. And first place for the internet scavenger hunt level two is Matthew Whaley Elementary School. The next category, integrated applications, level four. Third place, Windsor High School. Second place, Advanced Technology Center. And first place for integrated applications, level four, is the Governor's School. Our next category, Programming, Object-Oriented Business, Java. Level four, honorable mention goes to the Governor's School. Third place, Advanced Technology Center, Team B. Second place, New Horizons Career and Technical Education Center. And first place for programming, object-oriented business, Java. Level four is the Advanced Technology Center, Team A. Our next category, Programming, Visual Programming, Block Coding, Level 2. Honorable mention goes to Carsville Elementary School. Third place is Bethel Elementary School. Second place, Pocosin Elementary School. And first place, Programming, Visual Programming, Block Coding, Level 2 goes to Carrollton Elementary School. <laughs> Our next category is Web Design, Level 4. Third place, Governor's School. Second place goes to the Advanced Technology Center. And Web Design Level 4, first place, goes to Landstown High School. Our next category is Programming Scientific Non-Business Level 4. Third place goes to New Horizons Career and Technical Education Center. Second place, Governor's School Team B. And first place for Programming Scientific Non-Business Level 4 goes to the Governor's School Team A. And that was all of our winners today. Can we give them all a hand? Congratulations to all of our winners, and a great job to all who've participated today. To all of our competitors, their teachers, their parents, their schools and sponsors, we say with great enthusiasm, thank you. We hope to welcome you all back to the island and the competition next year, and we look forward to seeing you then as competitors and knowledge warriors. It is now time for us to leave the island and conclude the 37th annual Great Computer Challenge. Thank you all for joining us and have a great rest of your day. Woo!